What's up everyone, my name is Ozai, welcome to another video. Want to share a story of when 50 Cent forced some game developers into adding helicopter levels into his video game because his son wanted it, and all the tragic events that happened afterwards. First off, shout out to Destructoid.com that features an article talking about this story. Pretty much after the success of 50 Cent's first video game, Bulletproof, the game studio decided to make a sequel titled Blood on the Sand. However, it was cancelled by Activision and pretty much shoved away. The studio that was working on the game rebranded and THQ came in to take publishing rights from the game. A year later it was released. While the game was praised, it was a commercial failure, with the development of the game being held. For starters, this game was supposed to be a war game set in the Middle East. The team had already designed the environment, enemies, etc. But then the top execs came in, said that Middle Eastern war games were so played out that they needed to spice things up, so they added 50 cent to the game. Since they already worked on the previous build of the game, they weren't going to throw away the Middle Eastern setting, so they came up with some crazy story of 50 and his team performing out there, their payment getting stolen, which was a diamond skull by the way, and them having to get it back. But hey, they were making it work, and 50 cent was on board. But when the team made a build of the game for him to try out, he decided to let his son, Quarter, play the demo. Horrible mistake. His, so his seven-year-old son, Quarter, who loved the game, said it's great, but it needs helicopters. The game dev said it doesn't have any. Then 50 interrupts, you heard the kid, it needs helicopters. The game devs tried to respond, but 50 grabbed him and just said, helicopters. So with that, the team had the new task of adding playable helicopter mechanics and levels into the game, and what well, with game development, that isn't exactly an easy addition. This played part into the game getting delayed, going over budget, and eventually getting cancelled. When it was eventually brought back from the dead, like I said, everyone praised it, but all the damage was done. And the worst part of it is, 50's son, Quarter, hates his dad now, and so does 50. Quarter says 50 never helped him or anything, while 50 says that his baby mama brainwashed Quarter into believing that, and that's unfortunate, cause damn Quarter, how are you gonna say that about 50? He literally forced those devs into adding a whole new mechanic and level into a game for your own personal enjoyment, and now Quarter wishes death upon 50? It's sad man. There's a lesson to learn from this, don't let no 7 year old sway you into doing anything, cause they'll be the reason your game flops. Thanks for watching, much love.